What's going on, y'all? Joe Johnston here, back for another training. Um, and we're going to talk about something that I see holds a lot of my clients back. Um, and that's the, the healing of the relationship with one of the primordial or, or both of the, the, the primary caregivers. Um, and again, this is a super deep and sensitive topic for a lot of people. I know it certainly has been for me in my past. Um, you know, but the relationships that we have with our parents growing up really forms our model for the world and the relationships that we have going forward, right? This is something that Sigmund Freud, Carl Jung, and the psychodynamic um, psychologists really introduced into the market and into the literature is that, you know, the relationships we have growing up with our parents and loved ones, especially our parents, whether it's our mother, our father, both individuals, really forms our, our view of the world and so much of how we view relationships in the world going forward. Um, so how we have interactions with our parents growing up, how we view them interacting with one another really leaves a huge imprint in how we look at the world um, in our adult lives and how we deal with our relationships, how we deal with different energy going forward in our lives. And, and what I've seen with a lot of my clients, I've certainly seen it myself, is that they'll have these massive blockages, whether it's in their intimate relationships, it's in their personal friendships, um, or it's just in general relationship, in, in relationships in general. And, you know, feelings of anxiety, feelings of unworthiness, feelings of people always coming at them and always hurting them, always being on edge, again, in their intimate relationships or in their, you know, friendships, intimate friendships or whatever it is, um, and that generally a lot of these blockages towards en enjoyment and fulfillment in their relationships come from the relationships that they've had with their primary caregiver. Um, and once we start truly, truly healing those past relationships and getting past those blockages that might have come up from our parents, we start to set ourselves free as individuals and we start to get we start to open up to really feeling a lot better, a lot more comfortable around different energies. And I want to get into that for a little bit is that, you know, we all have different energies within us, right? We have masculine and feminine energies within us. And the masculine is kind of the, you know, the protector, the courageous, the, the fearless energy that's within us, the go-getter, the one that's going, 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 run, 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 run. And then the feminine is kind of the more quiet, nurturing, healing, restful energy that we have within us when, you know, we'll feel a little bit more when we're out in the park laying down or we're laying down and just resting and taking care of ourselves. And so, you know, that those energies are also reflected out into the world, right? So if I work, walk into a group full of, you know, high powered businessmen or individuals, you're going to be feeling a lot of masculine energy in that room, as opposed to a room of, you know, men or, or individuals who are, or women who are a little more laid back and kind of restful and, and talking and let's say in like a nail salon or something like that, that's a lot more feminine energy and an example of feminine energy. And again, what, you know, I'll see in a lot of my clients is they'll often be more comfortable in their adult lives with one of the, one of the dominant sexes. Um, so they'll be really, really comfortable. You know, I know for myself, really, really comfortable in the presence of women, but struggle to be present and comfortable and, and feeling at ease in the presence of masculine, you know, men or masculine energy in, in general, whether that's coming from a male or a female. Um, and so it's, I think it's, again, super important. We always talk about sort of the, the manifest or the late manifest content, which is, hey, I feel uncomfortable in these situations, but what's the latent content underneath that? Well, you know, I had a difficult relationship with my mother or my father, or my primary caregiver, and that's now leading us to what we're feeling in our daily lives and can be leading to some suffering and some pain um, in everyday life. So super, super important. Again, that's really where I start with a lot of my clients is asking them to tell me about their pasts, ask me to tell them about their childhood and growing up and what their relationships were like with their parents um, so that we can really really dig into that stuff and then kind of see and make the connections of how those certain relationships or certain hurt and certain pain from their past are now manifesting and showing up today in their everyday lives. And often once we start making those connections and those clicks, a lot of things start to click in my clients' minds and they can start healing that past relationship so that they have more enjoyment and fulfillment and joy in everyday life. And so in terms of, you know, quickly sort of healing that stuff, the first big thing is always awareness, right? Being aware that, hey, you know, there were some things that happened when I was a child and, you know, my parents were great or my father or mother was really great in a lot of ways, but maybe he or she didn't give me X, Y, and Z. So making that awareness and making that connection. And again, realizing that, listen, it's not, 
your fault as an individual. It's not a reflection of who you are or your worthiness as an individual. It's certainly not a reflection of your parents and who they are as individuals. They're humans as well. They have their own struggles. They had their own, you know, things from their past, probably that they're still healing as we all are. Um, but just being, rec being aware of and recognizing these things. And then a massive step that I tell all of my clients is when we're ready for it, starting to forgive starting to forgive that parent for, you know, the things that he or she didn't give you, starting to forgive that primary caregiver for some of the lack that you didn't receive from him or her as a child. And once we start doing this, again, we really start to release ourselves from some of the burden and the unnecessary, um, the unnecessary pain or unnecessary hurt that we might have towards some of those parents. And as a byproduct, really start to free ourselves up to enjoy our relationships today and to cultivate prosperous, fulfilling relationships in our everyday lives today. So this is massively important. It is a massively crucial step in one's development as an individual, one's optimization as an individual. And if you're interested in learning more about this, you feel like, hey, yeah, you know, this is something that I struggle with. There's definitely some stuff from my past when it comes to my parents and my relationships that, uh, you know, that need to be worked through. Go ahead, book a call with my team. We're more than happy to talk with you, talk you through that stuff and talk how we have helped some individuals really work through certain relationships um, with past parents, with past pet caregivers and free them up and heal from those relationships so that they can not only have more prosperous relationships in their everyday lives, but they can actually start building more prosperous relationships with those caregivers, with those parents. So crucially important step, um, healing and forgiving past relationships, especially with our primary caregivers so that we can live a more happy, fulfilled and optimized life. So go ahead, grab some time below if you're interested. Much love, my friends. We'll talk soon.